What's up everybody and welcome back to another daily video. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about the dirt cheap brake pads that I recently installed on the GTR. If you guys remember in a previous video, I did a full brake job on the car, just pad slapping it in all four corners. And like I said, they were so cheap. These were $110 for all of the brake pads front and rear. Uh, some of you may think that's not too cheap. Some of you may think that's kind of a normal price. The quote from Nissan for the original Brembo brake, brake pads all around is $1,300. Did I do it to cheap out? Absolutely not. The reason why I did it is because I hate these stock brake pads. These stock Nissan brake pads that Nissan uses for this car are high performance racing pads. They are really at home out on the racetrack doing high performance, high temperature stuff. Out on the roads, you're not getting that hot. You're just not getting the brake pads and the rotors up to any type of high temperature. Therefore, they squeak so bad. And if you guys didn't get a good clip of it in the last video, here's what they sounded like. And then now with the new brake pads, I am very happy to report a full tank of gas later. This is what they sound like. As far as noise goes, it's completely gone. They are completely quiet. It's not because my old brake pads were destroyed or anything. Uh, here are the rear, the rear brake pads. I'll just show you a quick look at them. Everything had a lot of life left in them. They still are pretty thick. Brake pads are a little beat up. You can see some chewed up marks on them. So not to say they are in perfect condition, but nonetheless, when I bought the car at 24,000 miles, they sounded exactly like what you just heard. My car now has about 32,000 miles on it. So in the last year and a few months of owning this car, it sounded the same. So it's not the condition of them or anything like that. They're not worn out, hitting a little wear indicator or anything like that. It's just the way they're made. If you guys remember when I first did the reaction with the stage three tune and the straight pipe setup, uh, one of the high speed decelerations, you heard the brakes squeal really loud for a split second. The next week, it was completely quiet. I had no issues. These had gotten up to perfect hot temperature. They got some abuse under them and they were really quiet. But after that wears off, after a few days, then they get back to normal squeakiness. So that's kind of what I've been dealing with for the last year and three months owning this car. It has been the one thing I've hated about owning this car, but I can safely say and 100% recommend these things are fantastic for what they're doing. So for squeakiness, we're gone. The car now doesn't sound like a piece of junk when I slam on the brakes. That's just been something very annoying to deal with in a car like this. It makes a lot of fun noises, a lot of interesting noises but squealing brakes is never something you want to have. It just really takes some of the fun out of the drive just because how bad they were. So to talk about the actual performance of the brake pads, because did I just put Honda Civic brake pads on a GTR? Not at all. These things still, I would say, perform like 80 to 90% of what these stock ones did. The stock brake pads for performance are phenomenal. They truly stop the car and pull your face off when you slam on the brakes. They are very, very powerful. The one thing I've noticed with this setup, the initial bite isn't quite as grippy, I would say, as the stock ones. I mean, this thing still slams on the brakes, as I'll show you in a second. Uh, just when you first slam on the brakes, it just doesn't bite as hard. So they're not as performance oriented as the factory ones, which is fine. You know, this is still my daily driver. 90% of the time, I'm not doing anything performance oriented. Yeah, I'll floor it, get up to speed quickly, but I'm not around the racetrack every single day. It's a normal daily driver car that I use for the normal stuff. At normal road use, the stock brakes, the sacrifice with having very good performance brakes, but being so squeaky and so loud, it's just not worth it. I will gladly sacrifice a little bit of the performance to have a quiet deceleration. Like right now, I'm going 53 miles an hour on the brakes a little bit. No noise whatsoever. But when I first did drive them, of course I was very conservative because you want to break in the brake pads as good as possible. Being that I didn't do anything to the rotors, I kept them exactly the way they were. Putting brand new pads on used rotors isn't exactly the best thing to do in the world. It'd be a lot nicer to have brand new rotors. But what I did to break them in, I just did a few slow decelerations. I got up to like 40 miles an hour and then just lightly hit the brake pedal just to slowly work their way in. I did a few slower speed tests like that, then got up to higher speeds, did the same type of brake pedal press. I got a little bit more firm on the pedal as I did more and more of them. But I would say after a few runs like that, they started getting a lot better in the performance. When I first drove around the neighborhood, they didn't feel that good. I had to press the brake pedal quite a bit to get the car to stop. Uh, didn't feel too good. Slowly broke them in and got them up to temperature a few times, just going through some cycles and it got a lot better. And then I did all my data log runs with the new tune. I did all that off camera down to like 50 and did some firm brake pedal presses there. Before I did that, 
I did warm up the brake, so I did a few runs from like 70 to 30, and then I went and did the full full throttle data log runs. But after all those runs, everything's broken in nicely. The brake pedal feel is really good. So I'm going 45, and I'm gonna slam on the brakes now. <laughs> okay, that was actually the first real slam on the brakes. Okay, that, that still works very well. But yeah, you're not sacrificing much performance. It is noticeable. I wouldn't say take this setup out on the racetrack if you're gonna go out having a crazy day on the track. Um, they're not designed for race use. So we'll do a nice run on some back roads. I'm only doing like 50% brake pedal pressing. I mean, these are honestly, these are fine. I don't see a need to actually swap out for the uh, factory pads, at least on the road like this. I'd say any spirited driving. I mean, spirited driving on the back roads. I don't see an issue with these brake pads whatsoever. noticeably not as good performing as the stock ones but for normal like having fun driving and everything like that you're not gonna notice a difference and the fact that they don't squeak they don't make any noise the weird pulsations that I was actually having before I don't notice any of that either so honestly if you own a GTR get these brake pads $110 shipped to my house how can you beat that Nissan charge is 1300 bucks. I think a lot of the reason why the GTR stuff is more expensive is simply because it's a GTR. It's not that a lot of the parts are some crazy over-engineered work of art. I think they're just upcharging you because of the car. And they know that a lot of owners will gladly overpay for things like that. I think we're gonna put the exhaust back on and pop everything into race mode. Have a little fun with the straight pipe stage three Nissan GTR. up these things and uh, really put them through their paces. Wow. Yeah, slowing down from 55. They are doing a really good job. Man. I think this will tell if they're fading at all. And driving this car on the back roads, it's been a little bit of time. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have got to get this in the mountains. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, no matter what car you have, if you are having a bad day, just go and have some fun in it because driving. some performance under their belt. There's a hard breakdown. I don't think I'm noticing any fading. Ooh. Hard break to a stop. I don't think I'm noticing any fading. Oh my goodness. That was a pretty good spirited run. <laughs> Seventy mile an hour hitting the brakes. It still pulls you down really good. Like there's a lot of negative G's there. I can feel not quite as performance oriented, but oh my goodness, that is still plenty good. Oh my gosh, for a hundred bucks, I fixed this thing. Oh my goodness. But yeah, 
hundred dollar brake pads, absolutely the best hundred dollars ever spent. If you have a GTR, pick up a set of these, get rid of the annoying stock ones, save them for the track use. But daily driving, 90% of the time I'm in this car, I cannot complain with performance. Performance is still 80 to 90% of the air, which is all you need on the road. But then just driving around town, it's a normal car, it's quiet, and it's awesome. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Give the video a huge thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and see you guys next video.